We're against Nox? <gasps> We're against a not in dual god? A non dual god? All right, Nox. Look, Nox is annoying, but she's not like a meta pick. Okay. And it's not Guardian versus Guardian either. All right, we're going. What the hell am I going? All right, let's just, let's just, I don't know, rush Bancrofts. I have no idea. That's at the point where it's like, I'm just going to keep trying new stuff with Terra until it works. I've tried the Bancroft start on Terra in the past and didn't work, but hey, against Nox it might. All right. Let's have some fun. Got beats so that she can't hit the combo. Unless, of course, uh, she makes me waste my beats. Like, probably happened now. Oh, she didn't place her two on the round. I thought she'd place her two on the round so that I couldn't, uh, I wouldn't be able to use my, my other dash. Also, we're queuing, like, late at night because I'm bad and didn't record the Guardian Gauntlet earlier. But that's besides the point. The point is that we're either against a very high rank person or a very low rank person because it's late time queues. Either way, I'm against Nox, so I'm happy. Now, here's the thing. Nox late game is actually terrifying to fight. So we have to make her not get to late game. As long as she doesn't go full cooldown, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If she does go full cooldown, I'm going Relic Dagger Beads. Like, Relic Dagger's so good now. <laughs> okay. All right, she's going to place her two. That's fine and dandy. I'm going to place my three. Don't dash. Okay. That, she wasn't in it, but that's fine. Maybe I should back. Just like... Because I'm already low on health and mana. And I don't want her staying with that much sustain. I don't know. She's a lot more sustained than me right now. Okay. I still don't think leveling up the 2 is the answer. I still think leveling up 3 is the answer. I don't know. Where's your dash? There it is. Okay, Nice. Okay, we gotta back up. We're out of mana. Have no mana potions. We have six MP5. That means every what? Every 50 seconds I can use an ability? Yeah, no thank you. I'll just back. Now here's the strat, okay? I don't have enough money for Bancrofts. We're just gonna take blue buff, clear wave, and back. It's a bad strat, but hey, it's my strat. No idea if she's getting red buff or not, by the way. I have zero clue. I'm a well-informed smite player. Okay. Also, thank you guys for all, all the feedback on Dead by Day Daylight video. I put my heart and soul into it, and I'm really happy that you guys liked it. For those that that uh, didn't see it, it's an edited f video, and I feel like you don't have to understand Dead by Daylight to enjoy it. So go ahead and give it a watch, and if you don't understand it, you can leave a comment, and I can explain the game if you want. It's a very short video, like two minutes. But I'm, of course, going to stick with Smite content. There will still be edited videos of Smite. It just takes a lot of time to get footage. I love editing. That's the thing. I love editing so much, but getting the footage sometimes sucks. That's the part that sucks. Okay, those weren't in the range. Did I get the stun? Yeah. Okay, run away. Run away. Now, did she get her blue buff? She did. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Because right now I'm three gold ahead. You know what I can get with three gold? You can get a lot of stuff. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know, maybe I, I'll get, I might get Relic Dagger either way. Because if you beads Nox combo, she can't do anything. Or I could get, and then I could get Thorns, or I could get Aegis also for her ult. Oh, that's the first one she's hit. All right, look at my cooldowns. Mmm. <laughs> Can't do anything for another eight seconds. Nice. Did you just ult me? It's very rude. Okay, heal up with Bancrofts. I have my beads up. She's, she shouldn't be able to kill me. 
ulted just in case she tried to go for a dash kill. Because her dash could have killed, possibly killed me. Place my three in heal. Okay, she back. That's fine. Ult for ult. I didn't may I maybe didn't have to ult, but I would have preferred using my ult than my beads. Because my ult has a shorter cooldown than my beads. And my beads are right now better than my ult. 10% cooldown, let's go. Maybe I should rush Chronos Pennant. That's honestly Chronos Pennant and Genji's. Mm. I'll be overcapped late game, but I could always sell something like my boots. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Because Nox takes so long to get online that I might be able to do that. Whereas against most gods, I wouldn't be able to. Also, also Polynomicon is going to be a must. This is a nice matchup just because I have I can have room in my build for stuff. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. Someone said I should go full auto attack Terra. Honestly, might do that. That would give me so much objective push. You know what? For the meme memes and for actual viability, I might go full auto attack Terra. That actually might work. It's so crazy it might work. The reason I think it would work is because it gives movement speed, right? For now, until next patch. But the movement speed from the rings will let me dodge Nox combo easily. Like, I've played Nox against people that go full rings build. And let me tell you, it's difficult to hit the combos. And then, of course, if they have beads, you know... If you, even if you do hit it, they're still on you. It's so crazy it could work. I am going to try it. Okay. Time to back. Let's start working on that demonic grip. I, it's actually so crazy it might work. I kind of laughed at the idea of going full auto attack Terra because it's, it's not good. But against Nox, as if I... If she hits her combo and I beads it, and I just I stun her out of her dash or something, she's like, can't do anything. Until she gets full cooldown, of course. But, that's besides the point. If I have so much movement speed, I'll always be able to catch up to her. And I will always be able to dodge a combo, hopefully. Because we got them juke shoes. Plus, it's fun, obviously. Fun triumphs everything. Oh, oh, uh, it only works if I hit things. If we're gonna win with Terra, it's gonna be the fun way. That's what that's what's gonna happen. All right. Time to back. Time to back. Oh, I see you, bruh. <laughs> I'm still backing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. God. Stop. Let me break them stones. Oh, Bull Demon's angry. He's mad at you. Oh, God. I was waiting for a dash, but then I didn't hit it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> this isn't working. All right, wait for her dash, and then we, we will root her. Yeah? Don't hit your one. Dang it. I'm not going to beat that. Oh, she's actually got quite a bit of damage on me. On the verge of I, I actually can't attack her because her dash one will kill me. Oh, yeah, that doesn't go through my pillar. All right, now we're at equal health. It's anyone's game. I still have my beats up, though. That's my secret, Captain. <gasps> I dashed into it, thinking I could kill her. Oh, God, I have the big dom. Or do I... I, yes, I do. Please don't hit me with your one. Yes. Okay. You're out of mana. But she might have enough mana for one dash. Block it off. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 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 Nope. No. Don't leave. Dang it. At least that was cool. Fun engagement. It's always fun when two non-meta picks are up against each other. As long as it's not Guardian versus Guardian. Nox is an interesting god in duel. Like, I have fun on Nox, but fighting fighting late game Nox is the worst thing in the world. 
but the rest of the game is pretty fun. Please don't hit your combo. I'm just going to wall you off if you're okay with that. She's going to dash and hit her combo and I'm dead. Unless I juke it. Okay, cool. I'm out. Oh god, she's chasing. <laughs> I just used the mirror wall. Oh, I can't I can't use my two when uh when I'm silenced. I was going to crush her cuz she walked through it. Your Hold up. <gasps> okay, never mind. You know what? I'm greedy and it's fun to overstay my welcome, but at the same time, that almost killed me. So no, thank you. My power grows. We'll get void stone cuz void stone works super super well with demonic and am I, I might get a Aegis? Thorns. We're gonna, we're gonna have thorns. If she's low health and she combos me, my only hope is to pop thorns. Like, that's the only thing that will keep me from success. And yeah, I'm a magical and she's a magical, and I know it'll get mitigated, but not if I have Demonic Void Stone. Then not much of it will get mitigated, because her protections will be shredded. Context matters with thorns. Now, when I don't have any of my demonic stacks applied, then yeah, thorns is not going to be great. But it still does damage. Alright. Look, look how fast I am. I'm speedy. I wonder high res how to remove the movement speed. I understand. Now we just need hasten ring. <laughs> oh no! You weren't supposed to do that. Okay, that was terrifying. Nice. Oh my god, yes! That's what I was holding on to my beads for. The perfect opportunity. That worked really well, actually. Oh, I thought I had my dash. That worked really well. How much damage did I do? Mm, my auto attacks did 423. Not bad. I'm okay with this. This is all I needed to do. Find a fun build on Terra. I don't... This is definitely not the best build. It's just against Nox. It has potential just only when my beads are up. When my beads are up, her, you know, Nox has to use half of her kit. And I make her waste that entire thing. And then just chase her down and kill her with auto attacks. Because then she won't have any peel. Like right now, she has nothing up. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, she has that Genji, so. You play around Genjis. It'll be fine. Alright, 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 alright. Bop. Imagine if I had Polly. Now, what's the place of. What's the point of placing your two if you don't have your one up? Like, I'm just going to walk out of it. The weirdest combo in the world on Nox that would be, like, you'd be a god if you could pull it off is with the new staff. If you could all place your two twice and then get them in both of it with your one. You'd have to be a god to pull that off, though. It'd be so difficult. I'm telling you, movement speed. Movement speed's the best. Oh god, this puts me in a bad position. Never mind. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. She had ages. Okay. We're out of mana, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's time to leave this place. Okay. I don't think you can take my tower. I highly doubt it. My power grows. I haven't placed these wards yet, but you know what? Wards win wars. They're very useful. I just want to get past Terra. Terra's like the last hard guardian for me. And maybe maybe Jing Tian, but uh, Jing Tian, uh, I'm a lot more experienced on. Your tower I think Terra's my lowest worshiper guardian, probably. I don't know. 
My worst guardian used to be Kabrakin, but lately I've been fragging on Kabrakin. He went from my worst to my best uh, guardian. Ever since that buff. Because I hated Kabrakin's mana, mana usage so much. And then they buffed his mana usage early game. And what do you know? I started doing really, really, really well on him. His tremors, man. They hurt. Stop sitting in tower. Nice thing about auto attack is I can take bull demon too. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Bop, bop. Her Genji's proc, so her kit's up. This might be a time to commit to a kill. Might not be a time to commit to a kill. I got a relic and her ult. I mean, she used a relic and my ult too, but the thing is that I won. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's go this way. I need to pay attention to these buff timers. That's the only way I'm going to get a bigger lead. Taking these buffs on cooldown. Please don't stop my back. Please don't stop my back. Okay, cool. Yeah, someone was com someone commented saying that I should maybe make like like the Dead by Daylight video I made was called Dead by Daylight The Dead by Daylight Experience, right? They were saying I should do that for other games as well, but I don't play that many other games. Like maybe I would do it like once for a couple of games, but honestly I don't know. Also I'm really low health. This is not the fight I'm gonna take. I'm just trying to heal up for a bit. Then I might go on her again with my ult. Damn, my cooldowns are so long. I really need that. And some sort of cooldowns. Okay. I have juke shoes. Now she's dead. Dang, she got that up fast. Okay. What do you have, Genji's? Just 30% cooldown reduction, I guess. Mainly the Genji's that saved her, though. If I had Telekines, I could take Tower right now, but I don't. Telekines does not apply to Tower, but the attack speed. Well, now I kind of want to try Hunter's Blessing Terra, but oh well. Alright, got me that red buff. Getting Telekines. Next, we're going to go Spear the Magus. Because Spear the Magus. I've said this so many times on my series. I will say it again. Demonic Grip plus Spear of the Mages, so OP. Because Demonic Grip applies, so 36% of their protection is gone. Then Spear of the Mages applies after that, so then 50 protections after that, and then of course the Flat Pen. Plus a Void Stone, so it's 50, uh, 65 protections. Demonic plus Spear, Spear of the Mages will almost always give more Pen than Obsidian, but it takes two item slots. Obsidian's better only if you are getting 1% pen item or something like that. The combo does, doesn't deal that much damage. Got a run. I spoke too soon. Because now I'm taking all my health. Maybe we can bait her? Maybe we can bait her if she dashes in or something like that? If she dashes in, I can juke her and go for her. Dash in, dash in, dash in. No. Okay, well that works too. Dash out, dash out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works. Oh, that doesn't work if she does that. She has her dash again. Oh, but she dashed the other way. Okay. And she used her one and without her two. Oh, but does she have her ult? She does, and I'm dead because I didn't stay in the heal. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm, we gotta think about the end, finishing this build. Kind of want haste and ring in it, right? But I kind of also want relic dagger. Because huh. upgraded beads with relic dagger makes my beads go down to 90 seconds. Which is pretty good, but it's not 
good enough. Wait, no, no, it would go down to 80 seconds because the buff. No, 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 90 seconds. Never mind. That's 40. I can do math. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I need to win this. This might have not been the best build to go, but I, this isn't like a, oh, Hatmaster's throwing build. You know, it's like, I legitimately think this build has some merit in this matchup. Nox has good self-peel, but if you... Oh, Copper is sitting on my keyboard. Hold on, Copper. There you go. Okay. Um, That's my cat. It has some merit, It and Nox has good self-peel, but once I pop beads, you know, she has nothing up, which is good for me. She did go ethereal. I don't have any health items. Just base guardian stuff oh my god why does that do so much damage hiding inside her too is really difficult for me to deal with her her Genji's is down oh good ages I'm running away Okay, might have some damage here. No, not enough movement speed. If she hits her 2-1 here, I die. Her 2-1's coming up. We need Chrono Spin it. Last time it has to be Chrono Spin it. I honestly can't fight her with these cooldowns. I can maybe sell something for Hasten Ring later on. I don't know. Spring is here. Smashed! Got her. Okay, good. How many minions do I have? One. Okay, I have a couple minions. But I have no HP. I have no MP5 with this build. Oh, God. I can't clear the minions. No. I at least have two brutes. Might be able to take tower. At least I have auto attack build. Imagine if I had no mana. And I had a regular Terra build. I believe my autos do more to towers if I have a, a pillar placed. Because of Terra passive. I don't remember if I ever tested it on objectives like towers. Also, it's time to go. After I clear these minions, because I want gold. Okay, get that. Get that. And also upgrade beads. All right, so now we're going to save up for a speed potion plus Kronos Pennant. And I guess I could sell... If she gets anti-heal, I could sell Bancrofts for Hasten. Although, that's most of my damage. Hasten Ring actually slaps here. People have asked me what I think about the ring changes. Honestly, the ring changes to me... It's like, yeah, a lot of times the movement speed's nice, like in this matchup, right? But the extra power and, like, the cooldown... The CDR on Shaman's Ring and stuff like that. I think that might help out more in different situations. It's just... There's there's other movement speed items you can get. Wing Blade, Toxic Blade, Relic Dagger. So if you really need movement speed, you can still get those items. And they're good, but they don't give as much damage, you know? So it'll it'll suck fighting movement speed gods as Ymir. Because he, he could use the ring, the ring so well. But since I banned Poseidon, Kronos, and most of those gods anyways... It won't really affect me. <laughs> Cause, but that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. I'm not going to beat that. Where's the dash? Where's the dash? There's the dash. Oh, shoot. That was a terrible thorns. I panicked thorns. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I obviously shouldn't have used thorns there, but either way, I thought I could juke that one. I really did. Let's just po get a speed potion, even though I can't afford anything else yet. If I keep popping uh, power potions every time I'd, and I just die after, I'm never going to get the gold I need. Oh, she went double life still. Oh, I need anti heal. Toxic blade? Probably Divine Moon. Or Toxic Blade. I'm 
I'm eyeing that that those movement speed items right now. Here's the thing. I think we might have to sell demonic. I she doesn't have that many protections to warrant demonic plus spear of the mages. It's like yeah, the attack speed is nice for the build, but wouldn't it be better as a hasten ring or a toxic blade? Because I need I still need Chronos Panic pretty badly. I like how throughout this, I love it when throughout the entire video I change my ideas with the build, and that's because it evolves as the game goes on. Like at the start, I wanted to rush Chronos Planet, and I realized, hey, I can go move the speed items that could help out, and I still think that was a good decision. It really sucks when gods can just dash out of my combo every single time. It's really annoying. Nice, almost juked into that. Ow, she hurts though. Like, big time she hurts. Holy moly. How do you do that much damage without applying... Sp you hit that through the wall? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I'm actually about to die here. I don't see myself... Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave me an opening. Yeah, okay. Oh, how much power do you have, buddy? 630 power with that build? What? How do you have 630 power with that build? Okay. That's cool, I guess. 630 power. It's mainly the the red potion, I think. The power potion. Your is under wow, that does a lot. And I do nothing. Okay. Can I start working towards that chronos planet? My power grows. Like I have my speed potion. Nah, that really sucks. What a waste. Honestly, what a waste. Is she just gonna focus this? That's cool. Wow, you know what? I hate Terra so much. That was a lot of power. Well, so much for trying with Terra. Okay, I get one more chance with her anyways. GG. I hope you guys don't get tired of me losing on Terra. Anyways, have a good day.